Hey you guys, I'm Blue, this is Queenie. I hope you're having a great day. And usually you see us on that side of the room, but today we're over here on the other side, starting off our new YouTube channel, our rebrand. We're gonna be watching some awesome TV shows together. And if you wanna check out more of our content, Queenie is over on our Twitch and I'm on our TikTok channel. So let's jump in. Today we're gonna to be checking out a catfish story. Now, if you guys don't know, Ro and I actually met online. over the internet. We actually met online gaming, playing Battlefield. We're going to be checking out some stories here from Dr. Phil of some crazy Karen catfish stories. We're going in completely blind, so let's check it out and see what's going on over here. About a year ago, I got a text Diamond. message. Wow. They were pretending to be this big YouTuber named Steve Will Do It. Just to be clear, they're they're pretending the, the catfish are pretending to be this guy. All right, so this is the same looks of it. One thing led to another. It started getting really freaky and intimate. Oh, like, I thought I was in happy. love. So this is a few months ago, laws. I reached out to James Charles trying to get an editing job. Four really? months ago, I got oh, a text. Wow. They said they were Montero, which I know is Little Nas X's real name. I was confused on okay. how Little Nas contacted him. Yeah, so each one of these guys has been contacted by celebrities or influencers, like big <laughs> celebrities and influencers so far. They co well, okay, the celebrities are contacting these guys, all right. I thought I was in love. We would have very erotic <laughs> Wow, she's having super... Wait, she thinks this person is a celebrity contacting her and she's like straight in the erotic yeah. conversations. I was invited to a restaurant and when I showed up, he never answered my calls. I actually used an IP grabber and sent it to him to get information about his name, phone number and everything. I found out that it was somebody named White Plast. Oh, wow. So this guy did the research. He actually did the effort. He's went yeah. pretty far into this. Yeah. The other two just seem like they're oblivious. Yeah, well, the, yeah, the girl just jumping straight into, like, erotic conversations? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty... Wait, are they going to connect these three stories together, being the same person? I, it doesn't feel like it. I don't think so. It couldn't be. All right, well, let's, let's keep that's going ballsy. then. Let's, let's find out. Sick. I heard that he just does it to influencers, and this is his thing. Wait. Five days wait, later. Wait, wait, wait is that, 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 is that him? Is that him? <laughs> Have we seen him already? <laughs> wait, wait, was that the was that the reveal of him just skipping down the street showing his belly? Wait, what? What? Right, I got a text saying, "Hey, this is white plastic." Was... I was catfishing okay. you, and I was like, "White plastic isn't just some random person. I actually know white plastic very well." That's him. It, it, we were right. Yeah. Oh my god. So this guy. Wait, he's that he's. Pretending to be celebrities to get clout? He's uh, catfishing people for clout? Is that so what's going on? I think she said he does this to influencers. So are these three influencers as well? That's right, yeah. So I, this guy is pretending to be celebrities, contacting like micro influencers to then blackmail them? I think so. Or get clout or follows or something? Let's, oh, let's check this out. I gave this person my address, I sent them money, and I also told them where oh, I lived. No. I don't know what this person- Oh, he's, oh no, he sent him money as well. So it was for money then, it wasn't for, it's not for Clyde, it's, it's for money. It's for it's money. capable of doing with my information, but it's definitely really scary. White Plastic admitted that he's been selling my pictures online for money, gift cards. He's been posted on these BBW fetish sites. It's a start bank. <laughs> Right, it's for money. It's for money. You see what? Stuff. He sold her pictures for money. And he's got money off the other guy. And he's got the, the, the third guy. He's got all his details, like where he lives, stuff like that. So he could probably do a lot with that as well. If he's taking her, like, I guess, nude images and then putting them on websites? Yeah, but this is in the US, remember? It's different, yeah, it's different. You can't get away with that in the UK. No. Wow. Wow. Why do you think he chose you well i did leave my phone number in a public comment section but oh. it was only up for like oh laws what? what what okay i just want to say something right back when facebook started do you remember when facebook had a phone number People would put their phone numbers in. Everybody would. So yeah. like you'd have your name, your even your address you'd have on Facebook oh, and your number. 
And this guy's just done it now. Like, you wouldn't do that nowadays, right? You'd probably do it, like, 20 years ago, but you would not do that now. Like, bro. <laughs> I guess you can always just block phone numbers, but jeez. Okay, Lars, come on. Lars, he set up meetings with you at yeah. Nobu at the airport. I had paid him money, too, to get the reservation. That's crazy. Right, so he's... He got catfished by someone pretending to be James Charles. But for some reason, Lars here, he has to pay for the reservation. Wait, James Charles is like a multi-millionaire. Yeah. Lars, Lars, come on, Lars. Lars is letting like everyone down right now. Come yeah. on. Come I've on. been catfishing people for a couple of years oh, now. Theory. I've been catfished hundreds of people. It's definitely like an activity. It's people like to play football. People like to go fishing. I guess I'm just a catfisher. It's just my thing. People on the outside are seeing it as like such a big problem. Like, why am I catfishing all these people? I'm such a horrible person. But honestly, I'm not murdering people. I'm not doing anything crazy. So I don't think it's wrong in my eyes. After I pick my victim, I'll just start to psychoanalyze. So it's all about outsmarting someone. What? Do you see? What? This guy, so this guy has a nickname, right? This is why I, like, I, I really wanted to watch this video because this guy had a nickname called Catfish Karen. And I can see why. Did you I, see I can the kind eyes? Of see, you... <laughs> I can kind of see why there's something there's there's something seriously wrong with this guy. He's some crying. people play football. Yeah. Some people catfish. Wait, wait, what? I don't know how he's gonna how is he gonna justify this? No way. Let's check it out. This is deep. Like this is a business. Like I have people on like payroll. I take these people's nudes and I'll sell it to all these different platforms Whoa. that have ways that you can sell people's nudes. I'm not being cocky, but I do think that I am that good at what I do. I mean, I wouldn't be running like a multi-thousand dollar business like with being mediocre. I start off as Wait, wait, wait. He just said he's making multi Multi-thousand? That's not even a thing. But he's making thousands of dollars off selling people's news. Yeah. In the UK, this is completely illegal. Like, you get in massive trouble for, like, uploading pictures without people's permission. That's crazy. I can't believe he's getting away with this. You, you say you do this for both entertainment and profit. Correct. I make hundreds, hundreds of dollars selling these news oh, online. It's not thousands. From anymore. catfishing these different individuals that I have people on, like, my payroll that I pay to get numbers, to get addies, to get everything that I need so that I can be successful and be rich. Well, in, in your tape, you said thousands and thousands of dollars, and ah. now you're saying hundreds and hundreds, which is... Yeah! Dr. Phil, Phil got it. See, like, Dr. <laughs> Phil's got, he's got his pen, his clipboard, he's writing this stuff down. Yeah. He knows what he's doing, yeah, which is it now? It's more like hundreds, and then it, like, gets into the thousands. So it sometimes peaks at thousands, but... It's like hundreds. When you catfish Lars, mm. you you had him send you money for a reservation. You oh, yeah. had him drive out to Nobu. You had him drive to the airport. What's the purpose in doing that? I noticed that like some of the things he was doing online like wasn't like really like cool like to like other people. You know what I mean? So like hit by other people like being mean to other people and like hurting other people. I don't really like that that much. One of my main focuses that like. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, did Dr. Phil just... One of my main wait, wait. That... <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's exactly like my insides right now. Wait, what? So he's going to justify by saying, Oz is a bad guy, so I tricked him and made money off him. And that's like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my God, look at the lines in his neck and the forehead. Like, he's really, Dr. Phil's really coming out here. Jeez. Diamond, Diamond's photos I've gotten like thousands of dollars from because she's mm -hmm. just such a hot commodity. Yeah. Well, you've actually catfished people as her. Oh yeah, I, I made like profiles as you, all that. And when I'm selling oh, these nudes, no. like it's not like, oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> Do you like the pics I used? No. I don't know why he does it. Whoa, is he taunting her right now? He's actually taunting her? Seriously? Like, how has she not called the police? At this point, when he's making profiles of her, it's like stalking her ass. Uploading her, her, like, erotic photos and stuff. Like, this is crazy. I feel like he's more obsessed. Like, he, I feel like he's obsessed with this one in particular. This woman. He's just, he's just taunting her! Yeah. He's just taunting her! She, look at her, she's so angry. 
How has she not just rushed across that stage? Jeez. Tackle them. I see myself honestly as like a hero, bringing justice for some of these people that are what? just like not what? good to society. Honestly, sometimes it's not just the bad guys, but I have to get some of the good guys too, if you know what I mean. Well, Vincent says nothing is going to stop him from catfishing because it's a hilarious prank, even though his victims feel hurt. But Vincent's feel they are getting hurt. Like getting the, hurt. the woman is getting like she's suffering big time because of what this guy is not feeling. I yeah. don't mm. Yeah, and this guy's stealing from them and he's he's completely delusional. He thinks he's a good guy. He actually believes he's a good Such guy. Such a contradiction. I get yeah. the bad guys, I'm a hero, and but then I, I also get the good, good guys. Yeah. So we need that look of Dr. Phil just permanently like <laughs> <laughs> But now you have catfished Diamond as someone else. You pretended yeah, to be someone else. It. Yeah, and gotten her to send you pictures. Yeah. And then you've taken those pictures and sold them, you said, for thousands of dollars. Yeah. Correct, yeah. I'm just curious if, if, if you considered, if you procured these pictures fraudulently, then you got them through what's called fraud in the inducement. So you uh, induced her fraudulently to give Dr. you these Phil's pictures. putting the spin on that. And then yeah. when you yeah. sell yeah. them, that's called Lay conversion, which means Lay you conversion. took these ill-gotten assets, converted them to cash, and in thousands of dollars, that means that's a felony. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, yes, finally, finally. I'm, oh, I'm so glad Dr. Phil said that one. Yeah. yeah, look at his face. He's like, <laughs> he's like, uh oh, uh oh, I just admit it to everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. How you've answered my questions on <laughs> tape, I, I predict they will arrest you. You said your job was in stealing images and selling <laughs> nude photos from a... I feel like Dr. Phil has invited him, hearing about the three stories, and then invited him, and he was so confident to be on this show, thinking he was gonna get clout. And now Dr. Phil's like, you go to jail. Like, <laughs> not right now, but as soon as this show ends, you go, you go to jail. Go to the ranch and then the jail. <laughs> Everything I do is justifiable. A lot of the stuff, you know, that I know truthfully, like behind the scenes, like I know like, every one of these individual people, why, you know, what they did and what they've been doing. And he's not backing down, he's overflowing. He's contradicting himself constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's scared now though. You see his yeah. posture's changed. Look, look at his face. His posture has changed big time. He thinks he can just blag his way out of this. I know that you're playing a character and that you're performing um, and that this is- I'm not is, playing a character, this is real and, life. So the fact I, that he's saying that I'm playing a character- No, don't interrupt like... me. Don't interrupt me. Oh yeah, Dr. Phil. Don't interrupt Dr. Phil. <laughs> you know, a prank is a prank, but there is a line that you cross that can have ramifications. And I, I hope you seek some legal counsel about that. <laughs> honestly, I don't think any of this was a prank. And I honestly don't like how I'm being played as a character, being victimized as a character, because this is real life. He's being victimized now. Is he going, you're right, this is like a, this is a Karen. This is a Karen. This, I can see why this title is, the video is like Catfish Karen. This guy, like, yeah, jeez. He's the victim here. I'm yeah. the victim. You ain't no victim. <laughs> yeah, you ain't no you victim. You need help, that's what you need. Yeah, that's why I'm the victim, duh. Cause I need help. What do you need help with? Oh, now he's oh, backing oh, down. Oh, now he's backing. You're gonna tell me like what I need help with. I, I think you need help with your moral compass. That's the that's the end of the video. Yeah, I mean, like I think I think uh, in general that guy is just a nasty piece of work. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna learn his lesson whatsoever um, unless he goes to jail. But I think it was like all confident, all cocky coming in, being like, I'm this, I'm that. Yeah. And then at the end, he was like, I need help. I'm the victim. I'm the victim. I need and help. did you see what he did at the end? He was like, he agreed with Dr. Phil, like, yeah, I need help. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and he was like, it's... tell me how, tell me how you can help me as well. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's Dr. Crazy Phil basically said to him, get legal counsel. It's like, you're gonna be in trouble. Yeah. You're gonna be in trouble. This is gonna be like the end for you type of thing. Like you're yeah. gonna get sued yeah. or you're gonna be in jail, whichever the three influencers or whoever else he's like catfish. Dr. Phil made a good point. If you are talking to someone online, 
And it is like in a romantic way, which I think is basically how he tricked all these people, yeah. right? You have got to make sure you know who you're talking to. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, you guys. We'll be uploading uh, hopefully once a week. Let us know if you like this video, if you like the style. We'll be developing it more as we go along. This is literally our first YouTube reaction channel. And hopefully we'll be doing many more videos because yeah. I really enjoy this stuff. Me and Ro here, we watch a ton of like online content and some of it is just awesome yeah. that we want to share with you guys. So let us know in the comments, please hit like, please subscribe and let us know what you think below. See you in the next one.